Here is Coreopsis lanceolata, commonly called lance leaf Coreopsis, or tick seed. A uh, tick seed because the seeds look a little bit like ticks or like little insects, which is actually what Coreopsis means, insect-like. All right, now that you know that, um, so is lance leaf Coreopsis a good cut flower? Overall, I would give it an okay cut flower. <laughs> So it's not amazing, but as far as cut flowers go, it's pretty decent. Here's my reasoning on why lance leaf coreopsis makes an okay cut flower. So to be clear, what I mean by cut flower is a flower that you would go outside and cut with some scissors or just rip out with your hand, uh, bring inside, and then put in a vase for your enjoyment and satisfaction. Uh, a good cut flower has some qualities that people usually agree upon. A good cut flower has a good look, a strong stem, a long stem, a delightful smell, and a long-lasting vase life. So, what's lance leaf coreopsis in regards to these qualities? Um, does it have a good look? Sure. It's one of those cheery, nice yellow flowers. You can't go wrong. Does it have a strong stem? Yes. It looks a bit weak, I'll be honest, uh, but it actually holds up quite nicely. So yes, it does have a strong stem. Does it have a long stem? Yes. Uh, it can get up to maybe two feet or so, and so that whole two feet can be your long stem. Uh, so for fragrance, I'm giving that one a not really. Some people say it has a slightly sweet smell, but I would say more people agree that it's not particularly fragrant. I also don't notice a smell at all. So I'm giving that a not really. And then for the long lasting base life, I don't know. So I did an unrigorous scientific study that included the following. Zero hypotheses, zero controls, zero replication, and zero metadata collection. I simplified and did what people do who want a cut flower. I used some scissors and I cut it. I put the flower in some water, put the vase on a table, not in direct sunlight, and I enjoyed looking at the flower. Uh, I did change the water every day because that is the big secret for the best way to keep a cut flower looking good. And here is what happened when I looked at the vase life. So this is the lance leaf coreopsis right after I cut it. Looks nice enough. Nice petals, nice color, nice stem length and strength. I also cut a smaller stem that had a bud on it that was not yet bloomed. Of course, that's what a bud is. Um, so a blooming flower and a not yet blooming flower, uh, just to see what would happen. Here we are 15 minutes after I cut it. So this is a check to make sure that this isn't one of those sneaky flowers that wilts a moment after you cut it. This does not appear to be one of those flowers. So that is a good start. And here we are now, one day after cutting the flower. And looks good. Still upright, still has that, hello, I'm friendly, kind of yellow color. It's not getting crinkly at the edges. It's not looking worn. The little bud is still looking, well, pretty much exactly the same like a bud. <laughs> so one day, still looking good. So what you would be looking at here is a video from two days after I cut the flower. 
But that video has been lost. <sighs> Somewhere out there, in space, maybe to be found one day, maybe not. But here we are at three days after being cut, and it turns out that missing video from two days is not a problem, because here at three days after being cut, this baby is still looking good. Same great looking petals, stalk, all looking great. The unbloomed bud is still an unbloomed bud, but in and of itself, it is holding up, right? So if you like the look of having a couple buds in your floral arrangement, the lance leaf coreopsis bud is doing well. It's just kind of holding in a stasis. Oh dear, uh, four days after being cut, she's a goner. The stalk is still holding up nicely, but the flower itself didn't even go through a wilting but still looks interesting phase. It is just dunzos. The unbloomed bud still looks about the same, but that flower, I mean, I wouldn't even hold on to it at this point. Except that I did. Here is five days after being cut. No improvement. Uh, but I will still point out that the stalks are holding strong and that unbloomed bud is still doing okay here. So if you had cut just a bud to have some buds in your floral arrangement, this would still be looking nicely bud-like. <laughs> Oh yes, I held on even longer. So this is seven days now after being cut. I took the dead petals off just to see what it would look like in that way. It certainly does perk it up a bit having the wilted dead weight removed, but it certainly is no longer the, well, hello, flower that it once looked like. The unbloomed bud remains unbloomed, um, but that stalk has now downturned. Womp womp. So if you had cut a bud, that would now be a goner as well. I know it was downturned and unpleasant looking, but I kept the unbloomed bud because what if it suddenly flourished? What if this is actually an underdog story? Um, <clears throat> it's not. Uh, this is 17 days after being cut and that unbloomed bud has a spindly dead stalk and has not bloomed. Not an underdog story. <laughs> Okay, so looking back at our list of good qualities for a cut flower, we have very loosely scientifically filled in that last quality of vase life to being that it looks good for three days in a vase, changing the water every day, and if you have stalks in there with just buds on them, you get five days of that bud looking like a nice unbloomed bud. But take note, that bud will not bloom, ever. And so that's how I arrived at my conclusion that lance leaf coreopsis is a decent cut flower, a bright hello there kind of flower with a strong and long stem lasting three days in a vase is all right. Not amazing, but okay. Okay. Decent enough. Now, if you're interested in hearing some pros and cons of cutting native flowers down and putting them inside as a cut flower, 
I've got some viewpoints on that at the end of my video on whether Bradbury's Monarda makes a good cut flower. So I'll copy a link into the video description if you're interested in hearing the ups and downs of native cut flowers. It's at 11 minutes and 45 seconds um, of the video that I'll link you to. That's it. Get out of here and go plant native.